everyone out in Revolution Land, I would like uh, to welcome a man who, in fact, needs no introduction. He is George Kern, a legend in the watch industry. Uh, for those of you who are fans of his, you know very well that he transformed a dusky, anachronistic instrument like brand name IWC into one of the world's hottest lifestyle watch brands um, by applying all the modern communication rules to it and, and innovating quite a few of them, including some incredible product placement in movies, uh, such as in the Bourne franchise and so on. Um, and then since 2017, he's been applying the same magic to Breitling uh, and has been creating cooler and cooler watches, one of which he's going to talk about today because he's going to donate to us <laughs> this watch for our COVID solidarity auction. So there you have it on his wrist. It is his Navitimer Pan Am edition on an Air Racer bracelet, which incidentally, that combination is phenomenal. And I love the combination of, of the dial, which really reminds me of the golden age of air travel in the, uh, the late 50s and the 60s when, you know, like Pan Am at the 747, you know, double decker with the incredible first class with the lounge uh, civilization. And then on this beautiful Air Racer bracelet, which reminds me of something from the 60s as well. Something like you would imagine Paul Newman or Steve McQueen would wear uh, their watch on as well. So, but first of all, George, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Uh, thank God the markets are reopening step by step. So um, we are coming back uh, to normal in many countries. Um, and um, first signs are actually quite positive. China is, is doing extremely well. A couple of European countries are doing extremely well, like Germany. Obviously, it's, it also depends on how uh, you were impacted. Obviously, Germany was less impacted or I, w I should say they reacted better than other countries to fight uh, the virus so that they come out of the crisis, I think, uh, with also with a better um, mental attitude of the consumers. Um, and, and the consumers have a better um, consumption, I would say, attitude than some countries which, like Spain, for instance, which were uh, affected in, in a much harder way. So I would say... Um, Hopefully, you know, we're getting more and more to normal. And, and what I'm really looking forward is the reopening of the American market. But I think that will be also a difficult, um, and anyway, a decentralized reopening. I mean, New York reopened this morning, but in, in a very um, restricted way. So uh, let's hope for the best. And above all, let's hope that there will be no such thing as a second wave, etc. And that the hygiene rules, uh, which I think are probably the, the single most important influential factors, will be kept by, by all of us uh, in order to avoid uh, uh, you know, a, a second wave. I got I to gotta commend you also because you did essentially the launch of your three new watches um, online. You did it through a, a video conference, right? Um, and when you line in the much, much anticipated chronomat, everyone was waiting for that watch. You absolutely smashed it with that. I, I'd never seen, even Shame on Wrist was complimenting you, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> there, there, you, there you go, right? Which, which trust I, me. I, knew, I, I knew what we were, you were talking about, so I'm, I'm, I'm prepared. I'm prepared. <laughs> And I love the Super Ocean. I have to say, in particular, I love this beautiful Rainbow Edition, which the message of that is probably more relevant now than ever when you think about unity. Yeah. Um, you know, tell me a little bit about, about, will you go back to staging the kind of uh, shows that you're doing before? Or do you think video conferencing is kind of the future, or is it a combination? I, I, I think uh, in history, this will be a milestone of uh, digitalization. I would say for the wide population, uh, we all used, at school, you know, our children, uh, video conferences, Zoom, uh, team meetings, et cetera, et cetera. And I think uh, what also home office, I don't think we will ever be able to tell a new young employee, oh, by the way, we, you cannot do a home office in our company. I mean, it has been working for three months, right? Uh, and the whole world. So I think this is really a milestone uh, but on the other side, humankind is, is as it is, and we are a species which needs social contact. And I think anybody is happy to be out of the confinement. Everybody is happy to go back to restaurants. Everybody is happy to go into a store to buy a watch and to have the 360 experience. And I think um, it will, I will be happy to, to, to hold events again, to to interact with consumers, with journalists, with, with, with partners physically, um, because this is our, it's, it's, this is humanity, right? This is our behavior. And um, I hope we will go back to, to some 
you know, to this normal way of interacting between you and human beings with all, with all the measurements, hygiene measurements, which are necessary. Well, thank you, George. Uh, that's, I think, a great take on it. Now, I just wanted to mention, um, earlier you were discussing about the recovery and the reopening in a lot of the different countries in the world. And I think that this is true in particular for the first world countries, you know. But we still have um, quite a few countries. I think Brazil, if you look what's going on there, Peru, South Africa, where you're really starting to see the real sort of, you know, peak of the crisis in these countries. And I think that it's important that we try to do what we can to, first of all, remind everyone that we're in it together. And second of all, try to direct funds or raise funds for these countries that have been affected. Tell me a little bit about your perspective on that, sir. No, I fully agree. And by the way, as you know, we had a limited series on the rainbow, uh, which was an incredible, also for me, su super surprising um, success. And we launched a second uh, series of uh, 1000 pieces, but this time with a blue dial and with a blue ceramic bezel. And, um, uh, and we're going to give at least 600,000 US dollars to a couple of institutions supporting health uh, personnel in some strongly affected countries, uh, like for instance, the UK. And as you know, the rainbow color did represent the NH as uh, the national health system in the UK. And we're supporting a couple of countries with these funds. And, and of course, these guys were in, at the front line. Uh, they had to inhale. And, so, and this is why many of these persons w uh, became sick also, because they were confronted with all these viruses, this massive amount of viruses. In many countries, you didn't have this, um, you know, this equipment, the security equipment, not enough masks, not enough um, isolation material, et cetera, et cetera. So I think these, these guys deserve our um, support and, and gratefulness uh, because they did an incredible uh, job and dangerous for themselves. Absolutely. And, and George, tell us a little bit about the watch that you'll be donating. I know it's your personal watch. Uh, and I know that it's got a prototype bracelet on it. It's a really is like a, a unique uh, piece. Yeah, I'm sorry so, to take it off the wrist. So, it, it, I mean, it's destiny. You know, I, I found that I, I love that bracelet. And when we thought about this uh, capsule collection with the Pan Am, the TWA, and the Swiss Air, I discovered that bracelet, which, funnily enough, was also worn by um, Serge Gainsbourg, for instance, very French, uh, very famous French um, musician, and Miles Davis. And um, I thought it was fitting perfectly that idea also of the Pan Am, you know, the, the, the good old days of, of flying, um, you know, or the movie, you know, like I like movie, Catch Me If You Can, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and all that stuff. And I just loved it. And I asked my team, my product department to put that, this is a prototype, to put that prototype on that watch. And since that time, I'm wearing it. And we had many requests, so I think we produced 40 or 50 of these, uh, these um, bracelets, these bangles. Actually, it's a bangle because uh, I can show it to you. It's, 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 uh, it is, it's, it's quite so it's, cool. It's, it's really cool, and it has such a distinctive look. So the Navi Timer Per C is distinctive. Then yes. the Panam um, look, you know, with the colors, and, and this air racer is so distinctive. And um, well, it was worn worn by the boss for many uh, months. It's a unique piece, and um, and it became famous because of our um, summit, our digital summit, which, as I said, uh, was seen by 2.5 million people. So here we are, and I'm I'm happy that this can contribute to your project. We're incredibly honored, George. It's such a nice gesture. Uh, and there you guys go, it's a close-up of, of George Kern's personal Navitimer 43 with the B01 in-house vertical clutch automatic uh, column wheel movement uh, on the Air Racer bracelet, which was a style that he thought up of. And this is, yeah, he, as he mentioned, you know, it was a bracelet that was worn by Miles Davis, by Serge Gainsbourg, really men of extraordinary style, and combined with his personal watch. And incidentally, this watch was viewed by 2.5 million people when he, he was doing his, uh, his presentation. That's amazing. George, we got to thank you so much my man. Thank you. Great, great project and great initiative. So congratulations and I hope it will be super successful. Thank you, sir. And uh, wishing you all the very best and hope we can catch up in person soon. Absolutely. Take care, brother. Bye.